Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I'm gonna show you three ways on how to buy old collector's cash in Dota that you probably probably missed the past years. So as you can see here I bought a lot of sets already and this is just a proof that uh, what I'm gonna show you right now will be uh, legit and uh, can be can le legitimately uh, obtain sets using this method. So yeah, I'm also gonna give you some tips on how to avoid uh, getting scammed while doing this because uh, these metals are outside uh, Steam and there are chances that you might get scammed by people uh, selling uh, the sets. So I'll give you tips on how to avoid that and hopefully this video can help. Okay, let's go, let's begin. So the first method is by uh, using this site, uh, datagifts.com. So to 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 use it, uh, you need to log in to your. Uh, you need to connect. You you need to connect your uh, Dota gifts into your Steam account. Don't worry about that. Uh, it will not harm your account because it, uh, uh, Dota gifts is only using um, uh, an OAuth method, where uh, you are just basically uh, giving the the site uh, read access to your account. They can only read. Uh, your your profile but they can't do anything that modifies it so yeah and it's all it's also helpful for 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 selling and buying because uh, because your account is connected they can verify that the item you are selling is actually in your inventory and uh, you are just not faking it I also suggest that you should you should also have a steam guard just in case this video is not uh, sponsored by Dota Gifts, but uh, I can assure you that this site is 100%. I've been using it uh, in most of my transactions, and uh, I've already um, bought like like a lot of sets from here, and I didn't get scammed even once. So I'll also uh, give you some tips on how to avoid getting scammed when dealing with this. So yeah, uh, so for example, uh. You need to find the uh, so first you need to find the set that you want. So for example, you want this uh, Stranger in the Wandering Isles by uh, set by Draw Ranger. So you just click it, and it should show you the the list of uh, available uh, draw sets in the market. So you can see here this is the price, this is the seller, and then if you can see the the check box here, this is a uh, this is a uh, ver verification that this seller have this item. So they have uh, two, uh, I mean one bundled, and then two, uh, and then one uh, unbundled sets, and one here also have one bundled and uh, one unbundled. So you just choose uh, on, on which seller you want to want to buy. Once you have chosen, uh, you just click this one contact seller and then check uh, Steam profile. It will it should redirect you to the Steam profile of the seller. So once you're here, uh, all you need to do is just add him, and uh, once uh, he accepted you, uh, you send a PM. Either he will send you a PM or PM. Either way, uh, just ask him or just tell him that he came from uh, Dota Dota Gifts and you saw his uh, posting about uh, Stranger and Wandering Isle, and then ask him what payment methods he accept and what uh, what what are probably ways to reserve the item and then once he told you like for example uh, in my case I've been using um, crypto uh, I'm using Binance to pay and you can also use PayPal you can also uh, use items like they will uh, ask you to trade the item that you want into a certain item with the same price uh, that is marketable so that also works uh, anyway uh, so you just need to uh, contact the person, add him, and then PM, and then uh, and then once he confirmed that you you paid, um, he will receive the item to you. So, where uh, you should ask him to uh, send you the link of the reservation, or you can manually check it by going to his profile, and then you should see here uh, the the reserve. So. If he said that he already reserved, you can check it here, or he really reserved the item to you. And uh, here, and then you can also check it here to the orders and then to give. 
it should it should show up here once he he, he reserved the item to you as of now uh, i don't have any reservations because I, I already received a lot of my reservations but that's that's uh how you actually um serve items here in in dota gifts uh just a reminder uh dota gifts doesn't uh interfere with your uh payment or how you uh negotiated with the with the seller so all of it will be on you so if he asks you to pay in using paypal uh it, that that one is already outside of um dota gifts uh control so what dota gifts can control though is that it shows you it shows you that uh, the item was really reserved to you and then you can also um report the guy in case he didn't show up or he didn't uh, give the item to you after 30 days um so the and then as you can see here there are bans so they are actively actively banning people that are scamming other people here they are actively banning them so uh just and then just to be sure that you you don't get scammed i this is the tip they get, that i can give you so for example uh as you can see here this guy is selling it by uh ten dollars and then you're interested to buy it so the first thing you need to do uh you need to do is uh go to the steam profile and then check on his comment the the comment that you need to to find is the plus rep comments it means that uh that guy has transacted before and then um they succeeded so as you can see here um so this guy uh this is uh, i already added him uh because i also bought set from him so if you see here you just by looking at the profile you can see that this guy is a legit seller because there's a lot of showcase and then if you see here there's a lot there's a lot of plus rep comments as well This is plus rep, uh, items, okay, kind of under trader. So this is the comment that you you should look when buying from from a seller. This plus rep. I know this can be fake, but um, you can you can just uh, you can you can only fake uh, as, uh, that much. But this, uh, for example, these uh, comments right here, these are hundred percent legit. They are from different seller. If you are the, if you having if you're, if you're having uh, a lot of trust issues, you can actually check them one by one if they are legit uh, or just a dummy account but as, as you can see here there's a lot of uh, plus rep to this guy so this just ensures you that if uh, this guy is a legit seller he, he, he will deliver to you so it is safe to transact with this guy and uh, yeah uh, that that's basically how you you check if if the guy is a legit or a scammer so let's try to uh, check for more. So for example, this one, check this profile. You can see here level 54 Steam user and uh, a lot of showcase as well. So this kind of guys right here won't risk uh, banning their account just for like ten dollars. When as you can see, this this account is really really uh, expensive. So just go to the comments and then as you can see here there's added 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 uh, comment. So just look for a for, uh, plus rep comments. So as you can see there's no there's no plus rep comments yet. So this guy uh, right here might scam you. I don't know. But yeah, uh, so for example if you really want to buy from this guy and then you can see plus rep comments here a gamble because it doesn't uh, not having a plus rep comment here doesn't automatically mean that he will scam you but the plus rep comments here is just an extra assurance that the guy won't uh, run on you so that's what you should be looking when when trying to buy from this from this site guy doesn't so this one, this one, this, he has one rep. 
Another rep, another rep. So this guy, this has a lot of reputation, so this guy is trusted. So you can add him, then talk about the uh, set that you want to buy, and then talk about uh, where can you pay, whether it is in finance or PayPal or Gcash or any other uh, payment uh, methods. That, and once you actually uh, reserve it, now you just have to wait for 30 days because uh, if you didn't know already, uh, once you you added someone, you can't give him right away. You need to wait for 30 days to cool down before the uh, person can give it to you. So yeah, this is a waiting time, a uh, waiting waiting game, actually. So make sure to add the guy and then make sure to check if he added if he didn't unfriend you. So far, uh, once you followed my map, all of the methods that I gave you, there's a very, very, very low chance that the guy will scam you by just unfriending you. So as you can see here in my profile, uh, um, I'll tell you which stat I bought from from Dota Gips. So this one, Joy Boy, I bought uh, the set from him, the Kakerjack, which is this. I bought it to him from Dota Gips, from uh, Cancers as well. Uh, I bought the these sets from Dota Gifts. I also bought sets from Dota Gifts. This one is Dota Gifts. Dota Gifts. This one is not. So yeah, uh, as you can see here, I, I bought a lot of sets from Dota Gifts already, and 100% of the time it was successful. But the risk of getting scam is still not there. So please follow my instruction. I always check for the seller's uh, reputation. For actually buying from him and uh, yeah so the second method is by going to reddit and then going to this uh, subreddit r.2 trade and here there's a lot of sellers uh, if you if you are not a reddit user you might find it uh, a little bit uh, confusing because uh, red uh, this uh, this one that I'm showing here is not the whole reddit itself it's just a subreddit or it's it's just a group where people sell and trade uh, Dota 2 items. So yeah. Um, so once you are here, uh, you can access this through this link, reddit.com slash r, which means subreddit and then Dota 2 trade. So you should be able to um, access this site, but can't do anything yet. So. First, you need to have a Reddit account, and then once you have a Reddit account, once you visit here, you see you still can't comment or post anything because uh, this have a restriction. You so you should read the uh, Dota 2 trade rules here, and one of the rules here is that this one, in order to post this is uh, this in order to post to this subreddit, you must connect your Steam account through the RUGC trade linker, and uh, basically what it does is just like in the Dota GIFs that I showed you once you you click this one it will show you an authentication or um, OAuth request to your Steam account that you are allowing this uh, this site to to access your Steam account read capabilities and once you you successfully uh, granted uh, the the site its uh, read capability you are good to go. So as you can see here, all of the all of the people that are posting have this flare. This is called flare. The 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 ones beside your name. This is the flare that that ensures that this guy is a legit Steam account holder and this is their Steam account. So as you can see here, you can see the the posters uh or the guy the poster uh, Steam account here. If you copy that one and then it to your browser to be able to see his profile and then just like I told you in my previous uh, in, in my previous method for you to to actually verify if the guy is legit trader and seller you need you just need to see in the comment section the guy has plus rep here and So this guy doesn't have that much reputation. All of the comments are just added for, added for. So uh, I'm not sure. 
this guy is, can be trusted or not. Uh, but anyways, uh, so that's what you should do in order to ensure that the guy you are dealing with is not a scammer. So uh, just read here and then um, unlike in unlike in Dota games where you can actually search for the specific sets, uh, here you just uh, you just uh, read the the post if whoever selling the the guy uh, the one you are you are looking for. Like for example here, this guy is uh, selling 2022 collector's cash, the Snapfire, the Silencer, the Orsa. This guy is selling 2012. This guy is selling TI10, uh, uh, TI9 uh, collector's cash. Then the post here, what uh, payment methods they, they accept. Then they also post here true, and they also price uh, so you just have to look and then if ever you want to actually uh, post something yourself as well so that the, everyone will be aware as well that uh, you are looking for this set follow this format so as you can see this guy here this H uh, indicates that he have this and then this W indicates that what he wants so for example, in this post, he wants old collector's cash sets, and then he have uh, their tied collector cash sets. So this is he is trying to trade uh, the the new collector's cash with the old collector's cash. That's basically what this. Post. And then if you want to do it yourself, um, as long as as long as you you already verify yourself, yes, you just need to follow the rules in in posting. So, for example, you are looking for beholden set by Rubik. I mean, beholden set by, um, beholden set by uh, Warlocks. Post it here, uh, PayPal. Uh, yeah, and you just put anything here, any rules you want to set, like if you want to trade first or uh, the seller will, tra will trade first. So once you posted it, people will comment to it, and then once you've agreed with the deal, just uh, wait for 30 days, and then, yeah, so that's, that's the second method you can obtain it. And the last method is actually pretty straightforward. So the last method is, uh, so the last method is just to find a local, uh, content creator seller that you know like for example uh, for me uh, I know 7vix he, he is a content creator a seller of uh, collector's cash sets this one's one he's selling so I must say uh, this uh, this third method is probably the safest because you are you are sure that the guy selling it is 100% can be trusted because he have a uh, he have a reputation to maintain as a content creator and a seller. So as you can see here, uh, all of these are religious. So once you you actually chose to uh, buy what you want to buy, uh, you just DM the guy, pay, and then he will reserve the, the item to you that you just need to wait for 30 days yeah it's really simple and there's no need to cross check as long as the guy is reputable enough uh, as long as you are uh, actually seeing the uh, the YouTube post or the, the people that are bu uh, buying from him there's no need to worry this is the safest and if you want to actually buy from him you can just pm him uh, i don't know any more uh content creator who sells cash because i didn't use this method that much so that's it guys uh, that's all of the methods that uh, i've used to obtain the uh, old collector's cash items and uh, i hope it helped you uh, if ever you have questions just leave it in the comment below i will try my best to answer all of them yeah, so I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and hopefully you, you will have the set that you desire soon in this method. So thank you.
don't forget to leave a comment for your questions and see you again in the next video